Hello everybody, welcome to the Watkins workshop again which is where I'm sat. <clears throat> I hope there's enough light. I just wanted to make a quick video about the aftermath of this Paris Press Paris ride that I've been on and it, it appears that I'm still living it, you know, I'm still living it. It's like, I, I'm not used to doing massive rides like that and it's it's had a pretty big impact on, on what I do. I, I'm used to going out and doing 200s and 300s and 400s in terms of big long day bike rides, but this sort of continental 1200 that I've done is is kicked me in the teeth, and also it's been one of the best things I've ever done. So I am massively pleased to have finished it. I know like not everyone finishes it, you know, and there were so many things for me going into it which I thought this isn't going to go well. And like day one, my bottom bracket making horrible noises, I thought, this is not going to go well. <laughs> I've taken that bottom bracket out of that bike. There it is. Non-drive side. Sorry about that. Taken that bottom bracket out, put it back in, and it was silent. A week later, it was started to make noise again, so I've put a token, a high-quality token bottom bracket in, and it's still making noise, so I've not got a clue. I've not got a clue. Anyway, um, I got a cold during that event. After the event, I was heavily, you know, I had the proper lurgy, and it's still not disappeared. It's now September the 6th. It's been a good three weeks or something since that ride, and uh, it's, I've still got aftermath of the lurgy, um, which isn't great. My legs are pretty empty still. Every time I go out on my bike, it feels like I've got lactic acid building up in my legs. You know, it's like it stings every time. Um, so I haven't been out and doing more adventures and things. My YouTube channel's stagnating. So here's a video. How cool is this? This is if you're looking for a bicycle adventure video, this is not it. I'm sat in the Watkins workshop with a bowl of rice and raisins, uh, just chilling. You know. Yeah, PBP. Um, I am still living it, so I'm still ill. I'm still dreaming about being part of PBP. I'm waking up having had vivid dreams about things, and uh, thankfully I wrote a couple down. All right, so this is this is some of the stuff I've been dreaming about. <clears throat> blah 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 blah. I dreamt I got charged £192 for healthcare in France for having a doctor look at my knee. <laughs> I remember this vividly. Now I, I wrote it down. Seriously, if you have vivid dreams, write them down because you know, there's so much cool stuff that you can look back on. But So I was in this building. I was part of a bigger group. We were riding around in PvP and something went wrong with my knee and I ended up on a doctor's bed and they were poking around with my knee for a bit and I thought oh, this isn't very good I don't need this person poking around my knee so I got back up and left and at some point in this dream I realized that I had a bill for 192 pounds and I was like what the hell and I asked someone one of the organizers and then they looked at a bit of paper and they said blah blah blah, blah, blah. Um, some sort of doctor's fee and I thought Oh wow, so basically when I was sat down on that doctor's bed in my dream, I was being charged money for it. So you know, that, that's, there's something going on in my head there about knee injuries and being paranoid about being charged loads of money going abroad and you know, it's still pinging around in my head. Um, I had another dream, what was this one? I dreamt I was riding PBP with Valerio Conti. The pro cyclist. I faffed too too long at a control, and they left the he and the group left without me. So I remember this as well. I remember vividly like Valerio Conti's face was like here, and I was like, oh, it's that guy who rides for UAE, and uh, he's a pro cyclist. He he like won a stage of the tour I think a couple of like last month or the month before, and. Yeah, I remember his face being right there, and he was wearing blue. So I don't know how the hell I knew it was Valerio Conti, because was he wearing blue? I don't think he was, because he's UAE Emirates team. 
Um, so that's that's a, another vivid dream. I remember I was I got to the control and I was in an, yet another French building, and uh, I was trying to pick up food off the table. And I was like, no, I can't eat that. Oh no, I can't eat that. I'll go and try and get something else. And whilst I was doing that, the group left, which is pretty much what probably would have happened in my head if I'd have tried to ride PVP fast. Apart from you probably don't get Valerio Conti riding it. <clears throat> Um, so I'm looking forward to whatever I'm going to dream about tonight or whatever. I don't know what that's going to be. Anyway, I'm still well happy with it. Here we go. Look, I got some. I got one of these. That's my medal for finishing. There's there's like a a rectangle bit there where I think they're going to send all the finishers a sticker with the amount of time that it took to finish so mine will say like 87 and a half hours so I'll get a sticker to put just in there and what else have I got I've also got my Korea Randonneurs jersey look at this this is the this is the best uh, souvenir that I've got from the ride. Made in Korea, OSS Bikeware. Happy days! Look at that. Grand Randonne 1200. It says on it, which is obviously. And I looked this up actually. Yeah, it is. There's a 1200 kilometer ride in Korea. Uh, I looked it up. It's it, it goes up a couple of big hills. It's not massively hilly in the in the round. But I, I actually looked it up on the on the profile, and there's there's one big mountain that goes from sea level to 700 meters with some squiggly roads, which looks sweet. But I don't I don't think I'm going to go and ride it, although I should. So this is the official jersey of that 1200k ride. Um, so maybe I'll, I'll I'll wear this. It fits really nice. It fits really nice. Had someone comment on my on my last video from a, a career randonneur who said uh, this is the number one jersey in Korea congratulations so I think I've hit the jackpot with this one although I must say the Korean dude that got the Bristol jersey has also hit the jackpot all that's club Bristol jerseys are where it's at all right so, so there we go I'll be riding with that Korea jersey at some point on some fun adventures hopefully um, yeah okay so so that's it. I have to recharge now. Recharge, get some more motivation for for doing long rides. There's nothing coming up for me really in the next month. I've got work stuff and then an exam coming up, so I need to spend time doing that real life, real life. So I'm just going to spend the next month making sure that this bike doesn't click all the time. Probably replace the bottom bracket. I'm going to replace the chain set. Try and get the chain not to be slack and tight and slack and tight and do all that sort of fun stuff so there we go I'm gonna finish my bowl of rice uh, what else did I want to say I wanted to say uh, check out the videos from Richard Lake so Richard Lake's another YouTube person who I met at the start of PVP and he actually filmed me setting off so there's a, there's a little bit of film on his video of me going tara and I went off and I joined the uh, what was it wave J 615 levers hello any other 615 levers out there um, yeah so yeah hello Richard check out Richard's video what I'll do is I'll try and post a link to his video in the bottom of my video and I, th I think he did the same for me so cheers mate um, anyway yeah I think that's it I think that's it my video that I made from PVP has been incredibly successful the YouTube views and yeah the views on it it's like 40 minutes long and I thought you know people will watch five minutes and by the time I've built my bike in the hotel people will stop watching and get bored and walk away but if, to my surprise people have watched like on average 10 minutes of it which is really good going it's like 20,000 people have watched that video of me just going around France and and some of the comments have been really nice so uh, yeah I was 
really happy with that. I'm always surprised that people actually find this stuff interesting. I've, all, all it is is I've just got a camera in my hand, and whenever I stop, sometimes, quite often I don't, but you know, just stop with a camera and just say, hello, I'm still at the side of the road now, I'm eating a pasty, or whatever it is. Uh, but yeah, people seem to have really enjoyed it. People, like relatives of people who rode PBP have commented on it and said, "Oh yeah, my so and so brother or sister or son or daughter has ridden it, and it's really nice to see what what the ride's like." Uh, so that is cool. So I seem to have captured what PBP is like. So that is mission complete for me. Uh, and I don't know what maybe YouTube has been promoting the video or something it seems to be getting suggested for people to watch so if you found the video via you know a suggested video I think that's what happened I think YouTube the algorithm decided that my video was going to be promoted and instead of getting like 500 views or whatever a normal video gets it seems to be on 20,000 views within two weeks so I'm, I've made it big time now so I have plans to retire. I'm gonna double my bike collection to ten. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna. I've got. Gonna go shopping for another ten bikes. Five. Another five bikes. Uh, and basically just retire to. I'm gonna retire to the base of. What was that massive climb in Colorado? King's Cape or something. It's not. It's not called that. Anyway, there's a massive climb in Colorado that's like 2,000 meters high. I'm going to retire to the bottom of there, and once or twice a day, I'm going to ride up that massive, great big climb, and just, just, you know, spend the rest of my days doing that with all the YouTube money from my PBP video. Uh, so there you go. There's my plans. Um, I might make another video again. Oh, I do have another video to make right now, but that's another video. Alright, bye!